crazy 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 game at the bernabeu tonight as madrid and manchester city play out an amazing 1-1 draw at the bernabeu for the uefa champions league semi final first leg sometimes you just have to appreciate good football and that is what today's match was we witnessed two golazos by the opposition teams as madrid first scored a brilliant golazo thanks to vinicius junior and then kevin de bruyne scoring an amazing goal for manchester city the game ended at 1-1 but there are so many talking points and what to expect for the second leg it is a must talk it is it is a must to talk about this game so let's get started first thing first real madrid first 15 minutes absolutely battered absolutely battered they we had less than 30% possession manchester city was strolling in our park at the bernabeu we were not even getting the ball back we were just sitting inside our defense and waiting for the shots to just pile up and to force counter attacks that was what 15 to 20 minutes were for madrid but everything changed after we scored a brilliant brilliant goal thanks to vinicius junior what a goal that was what a goal by vinny this guy is on top of the world there is no stopping him there is no stopping him and i can tell you there is no better youngster than him at this moment there is no he can score he can dribble he can assist he can make space he can let defenders chase him all the way this guy is a complete menace and he is just so young we are here to enjoy him for the another 10 years it's amazing to have vinicius junior and rodrigo at the wings as vinny opened the scoring and the match completely shifted the match completely shifted we had momentum madrid got momentum they started piling up pressure inside the opposition's box we got too many shots on target manchester city for a brief moment they were not in control they were not in control how they want to play football guardiola was tensed guardiola was upset why because real madrid is his favorite nemesis enemy you can say because if madrid is there this is very hard to win the champions league and that is what he was witnessing today but everything changes the second half after a brilliant shot from kevin de bruyne went straight into the goal courtois had no chance thibaut courtois another special mention for him today because he is the guy he is the guy that has saved madrid so many times and they did it today again Kevin De Bruyne could have got two goals if it wasn't for Courtois as he saved a brilliant goal from De Bruyne just from his hand. De Bruyne from close range Courtois this hand this hand of god you might say saved the goal for Madrid. But this the second the second chance it wasn't it wasn't a, it was a very difficult one you can say because De, De Bruyne a long shot straight into the corner straight into the corner it was a that that was that was a trajectory you can say that and courtois had no chance it went through the defense it went through the defense and it is what it is i i won't be disheartened from this draw because i know madrid were leading for the majority of the game since till the 76 minute and we felt like we could close the game out at the bernabeu it was the bernabeu and the problem is the second leg is played at manchester city's home ground so that is a big thing that affects you know not having the home game advantage that we every time enjoyed last season last season all the comebacks were possible why because we had the fans at our side but this time we have to play at md had oh i'm sorry ethi had <laughs> just just a cheeky thing you know benzema quite night for him ha karim benzema but uh, rodrigo and vinicius were running down the wing skyle walker was wasn't able to keep up with vinny's speed it was it was seen a lot of times hats off to the midfield again modric and cruz running the show and kama winga this man this youngster 20 years old plays at the left back now he's a he's a midfielder by the way our our first choice field left back our first choice left back ferland mendy is injured so ancelotti plays kama winga at the left back position and he has outdid himself this guy is a running machine he runs for 90 minutes up and down up and down defends passes crosses runs down the way he does everything that you ask for a left back 
He can be such a good left back if he chooses to be, but he doesn't like to play left back. He's just playing to cover the spot. But what a performance by Kamavinga, making sure that Manchester City were absolutely shut down on the right wing. Bernardo Silva had very less opportunities to make plays from there. Erling Haaland was kept quiet. That is a big, big, big plus because keeping Haaland quiet was very necessary, everyone might say, since he has scored over 50 goals. But the next leg awaits us. The second leg is going to be fancy. The second leg is going to have more meat in the game because everyone knows that if they want to win the game, they need to score a goal. Because there are no away goal rules right now. It is 1-1 and the next goal is very crucial to advance to the UEFA Champions League final. Real Madrid, man. I, I really wish we could close out the game 1-0. We would have gone into the second game with a lead. But the big thing is the momentum is on Manchester City's side because the hype will be in England. The City's Manchester crowd will be thumping. And that is a very... The dogs are barking. We can't help it, guys. We can't help it. Even they are cheering for Madrid. They are by my side. So, you know, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but it is what it is. Real Madrid is going to Etihad next week for an amazing second leg of a semi-final for the UEFA Champions League final spot. Who wins it? It is to be seen. Like and subscribe for more football updates. I'll be keeping you guys posted.